Word of our growing settlement has reached out. I want to see the other. Those Dane invaders. They came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. We'll make the trip east, then. A good plan. Rest assured, Eivor, the settlement is in safe hands. my age called Rokum. We had taken to calling Rokum the Roden for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokum seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Rokum. Rokum accepted the Holmgang, and on the agreed upon day, he laid out 12 of his axes and asked, which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. Vengeance is ours! Up, sail! He said, my bearded blade inscribed with Sather runes, affixed to a handle of English oak, or blood fountain. We must row in these waters. Take my the mask down. Ass, which swings through the air on two hands. Hush now. My lord, what's got into you? Norwich, suffering hard times, I see.
What? What's happening? Finir? Oh. No, not unless Hafton sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finir, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? Oh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family. Who is he, your king? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. It was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not... Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane. For a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft. And the settled Danes... Where is he now? I'll get them. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now. If you go by the north gates and along the road... myself a home here. Bruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace, with land to till and home to keep, without fear of Bruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together. Not a part. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes, for as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Hafton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We... What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmenham is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman, Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. 
A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the hold-up? The hold-up? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Smoke ahead. That's beat me. Could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. Big-faced cards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. My presence alone won't sway the family of your intended bride. That's work you must do yourself. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. I'm merely hoping you might provide me with perspective. That I can do. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Aid me. Be my eyes.
Healthy seeming town. This Oswald has done well for himself.
Look there. A lone Dane. Can't trust that. Be kind, yeah? As Christ we can. Oswald! Eivor! You came! Dinner will still be set. What does one do to pass time in a place like this? Have a walk by the countryside to work up an appetite. Travelers sometimes leave offerings at cut stone. A beautiful altar in the woods just east of here. I will have a look around. Thank you, Oswald. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command.
Looks like I have a new letter. Looks like I have a new letter. Ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I ask you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir, Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because half them commands. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that The is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowned the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. It'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your blessed ego. Wait, flash it, what? Please stop this! You heard me. That's it! She called us flaccid! Limp, weak, soft. <laughs> That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. 
You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation... Seems Oswald has set out for the day. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Ah, good morning. Upright nearly. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the moo of a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't... They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, yelling, Finnair, my drenger! Stick this call mewling and spitting. Here's Finnear the Hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Uh a glutton you are, just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting? <laughs> He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winter's our season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your head's made of wood. Wood? Head's made of wood. Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. He'd take two seats and a longship. He'd do well to remember that, Oswald. A walrus? A whale? A behemoth by name? No, it's Finnear the Fool, drunk and reeking with shame. Oh. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamped words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finnir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. 
Us a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finia wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said, I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Ugh, I have to... Do not make us wait long. You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I had all... Must we do this? Strength and courage are always... True strength comes from resolve, Abe. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice and say... Wait, you're unarmed. Just do your best, I'll be fine. Uh -huh. We'll forge your king out of you yet. Don't hold back. You felt that one. I'm still here. Hard to believe this man will marry Valdez. You expect the Danes to follow this pork belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. Come now. Inspire us. King at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! Eivor <laughs> is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have, even if you have to get dirty, even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head-on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils for... Time to wet your... 
Eivor, I expect the long ship crew could help with this attack. Sail out! Take Strike up a tune. No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan before. We're a kingdom of farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Abel. There is work to do, yes. But we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will pay. <laughs> Neither will we. If I see any, I'll let you know. Fight well, Oswald. Does the threat of death drive your blade further? Whatever compels you, hang on to it. Nicely. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. We'll take it to the ship. A hard won fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the. This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to Norwich, then send for the brothers. <laughs> Thank you. 
silver livestock and a tro- No battle dented Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broder? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Valdis is right. There will be others. If I had seen any more, I would have killed them too. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich Walls. By the water's edge. They will be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspe- Near that bounce outside the city wall. Asked about this land, my friend. Looks like one of the words, men. Wait, wait! What are you doing? I'm just a pig farmer. You are awfully well armed for a pig. <laughs> Stay down, muckworm. I have some friends who'd like to speak with you. Put me down! I tell you, I'm a cow farmer. Let me go, Dane. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh... It's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath, liar. send you to speak now and you may live to see tomorrow Arger swine that won't make you any friends here a scolding like that is a mortal offense boy I killed the bastard don't give him time to act again I'll ask once more why were you lurking around Norwich's walls 
I came to pay my respects, Lord. To Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. I could do that all day, you drooling bloodbladder. Only give me a reason. Lick my dunghole. Here's the tongue I use for licking. How does it feel against your ass? When the brazier slit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. That's enough to go on. Time to die. <laughs> That wasn't necessary. He insulted you before everyone gathered here. You should have struck him down yourself. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdis, this man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already? I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the brazier at Donich and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on, and we cannot wait. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. We'll be there, Lord. You don't speak for us, Stuart. Neither.